hi friends here i am going to present session number 12 of paper 7 analysis 2 and algebra 4 of 6 sum mathematics the topic is problems on construction of analytic function when real part is given so let us see so in the previous pre presentation we have seen how to construct analytic function when real part is given by using milner thompson method so that is here we applied to solve the some problems so first one find the analytic function whose real part u is equal to e to the power x sin y is given and then find the imaginary part so here the real part is u is equal to e power x into sin y so differentiating partially with respect to x and y we get dou u by dou x is equal to e to the power x sin y and dou u by dou y is equal to e to the power x cos y so differentiation of sin y is cos y differentiation of e power x is e to the power x so we know that f dash of z because f of z is analytic f dash of z is equal to dou u by dou x plus i into dou u by dou x so here we replace this dou u by dou x using cr equations that is minus dou u by dou y next we substitute dou u by dou x and dou u by dou y that is e power x sin y minus i into e to the power x cos y after that according to milner thompson method by milner thompson method we put x is equal to z and y is equal to 0 so we get f dash of z is equal to minus i e to the power z minus i e to the power z so here we put x is equal to z y is equal to 0 sin 0 is 0 e to the power z cos 0 is 1 so we have only minus i e to the power z on integration integration of e to the power z it is e to the power z plus some integral constant so f of z is equal to in the left hand side integration of derivatives becomes the function f of z is equal to minus i into e to the power z plus c so which is the required analytic function so here we have one more part that is you have to find imaginary part to find imaginary part we to find imaginary part or real part we have to write we have to find the function f of z in terms of u plus i v where u is real part v is imaginary part so for that we put z is equal to x plus i y that is minus i into e to the power x plus i y plus c by using law of indices we write this e to the power x plus i y as e to the power x into e to the power i y again by using Euler's theorem Euler's formula we write e to the power i y is equal to cos y plus i sin y on multiplying minus i e to the power x we get e to the power x sin y minus that is uh, minus i into uh, plus i that is plus minus i square that is plus 1 so it is e to the power x sin y minus i e to the power x cos y plus i c because here the real part u is given e power x cos sin y so we cannot change that e power x sin y so only we have imaginary parts that imaginary part may contain constant so we they, we take this integral constant to the imaginary part so that is why i write this c as i c so we taking i as a common c minus e to the power x cos y so it becomes so it is in the form of u plus i v where u is e power x sin y and the imaginary part is c minus e to the power x cos y okay let us see one more example find the analytic function whose real part is u is equal to sin x cos hyperbolic y hence find imaginary part same same procedure same steps here u is equal to sin x cos hyperbolic y differentiating partially with respect to x and y so that we find dou u by dou x and dou u by dou y differentiation of sin x cos x differentiation of cos hyperbolic y sin hyperbolic y and also because f of z is analytic f dash of z is equal to dou u by dou x plus i into dou u by dou x exist using cr equations because here we have 
we have only u terms that is dou u by dou x dou u by dou a dou y there is no dou u by dou x so using cauchy riemann equations because of analytic function we replace this dou v by dou x by minus dou u by dou y and then substitute dou u by dou x and dou u by dou y that is cos x cos hyperbolic y minus i sin x sin hyperbolic y so according to milne thompson method put x is equal to z, y is equal to 0, we get cos z. That is, here x is equal to z, cos z, cos hyperbolic 0 is 1, sin 0 is uh, sin z, sin hyperbolic 0 is 0, so this is 0. Only we get cos z. So, integration of cos z is sin z. So, in LHS it is f of z plus c. So, this is the required analytic function. So next to find the imaginary part we put z is equal to x plus i y so that is f of z is equal to sine of x plus i y so sine of a plus b formula using that formula we write sin a cos b plus cos a sin b sin x cos i y plus cos x sin i y sin i y is cos hyperbolic uh, sin cos i y is cos hyperbolic y sin i y is i sin hyperbolic y plus ic so you have to separate real and imaginary parts we get sin x cos hyperbolic y plus i into cos x sin hyperbolic y plus c so this is the imaginary part cos x sin hyperbolic y plus c so let us see one more example find the analytic function whose real part is x to the power 4 minus y to the power 4 minus 2x divided by x square plus y square same procedure and also you have to determine imaginary part you have to following the same steps you have to find partial derivatives with respect to u with respect to x and y so here we have to apply quotient rule so by applying quotient rule and keep as it is because in the final step to find the function we put x is equal to z y is equal to zero there some terms may get vanished so that you have to keep as it is and also we use f dash of z dou u by dou x plus i dou u by dou x using cr equations we write dou u by dou x as minus dou u by dou y so finally we get f dash of z is equal to x square y x square plus y square into 4 x cube minus 2 minus of x to the power 4 minus y to the power 4 minus 2x into 2x divided by x square plus y square whole square minus i into x square plus y square into 4 y cube minus minus of x to the power 4 minus y to the power 4 minus 2x into 2y all divided by x square plus y square whole square by milne thompson method we put x is equal to z y is equal to 0 so we get because of y is equal to 0 some more terms get cancelled so only we have 2z plus 2 by z square so here y is equal to 0 means this is 0 we get uh, 4 4z to the power 4 okay 4z to the power 4 minus 2z square 4z to the power 4 minus 2z square similarly here we have minus uh, 2z to the power 5 minus, minus plus 4z square so here we have z to the power 4 in the new denominator so after simplifications we have 2z plus 2 by z square so integrating with respect to z we get f of z is equal to integration of z 2z is z square by z square that is z square by 2 2 cancel minus integration of 1 by z square is minus 1 by z so it is 2 by z plus c so this is the required analytic function to find imaginary part we put z is equal to x plus i y that is x plus i y whole square minus 2 by x plus i y plus c. So on expansion using a plus b whole square it is x square minus y square plus i into 2xy minus of 2. Here we have to rationalize. We have to multiply conjugate to the numerator and denominator that is x minus i y. So then it becomes x square plus y square in numerator minus 2 into x minus i y. So on separating real and imaginary parts we get x to the power 4 minus y to the power 4 minus 2x divided by 
x square plus y square has the real part and the imaginary part is 2x cube y plus 2x y cube plus 2y divided by x square plus y square plus c. So this is the imaginary part. These are very important problems. Construction of an additive functions when real part is given. Thank you.